Close to 700,000 private security guards in the country will now be expected to undergo annual mandatory training as accredited by the Private Security Regulatory Authority. The curriculum that we are launching here today is very, very, very important because we operate from same standards and we expect whether it is RADA securities, whether it is Wells Fargo, whether it is Kibicho, the standards are the same and Kenyans expect the same treatment. And that is the direction that we must go. The curriculum, which is part of the requirements of the Private Security Regulations Act of 2016, will help the security guards acquire skills in counter-terrorism, security equipment and animals, foot drills and basic security procedures. Speaking during the launch of the curriculum, Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutambai said the National Police Service will partner with the private security sector in offering the training. I have enough uh, colleges both within Nairobi and outside Nairobi to offer all the kind of tradecraft and training to speed up that reform because we have up to April so that we are all together in the operation. Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, who was present at the event, said there is need to bring order in the private security sector, adding that the proposed reforms will go a long way in ensuring the sector is streamlined. We are determined and I want to assure you we will support you to now begin training and maintaining high-level standards for the private security sector, as it were, so that you can take up the new roles and so that you can take up uh, the new assignments that you are going to have. Part of the training will include sitting for exams and undergoing mandatory 18 unit, with each class having a maximum of 32 trainees. The manual was drafted by Private Security Regulatory Authority, National Police Service, National Intelligence Service, Kenya Defense Forces and security experts. For Channel 1 News, I am Emily K. Badi.